Welcome back to the show, everybody. I got this interesting object to show you. Once again, LB Pioneer Days, Albany, Minnesota tractor show. It's got a windmill on it. That's right. This is an old gasoline powered traction engine, early prairie tractor that somebody at one point in time turned into a renewable energy source. That's right. Oh, it it doesn't look like it's really got that much on it for like you know use hours mileage i don't know how you want to put it the wheels were in really good condition the spokes all look good i mean the frame is all intact but i have to believe at one point in time the engine or something probably went out and they were like what are we going to do with this thing i mean look at even the front wheels are in excellent condition and what they did was they just turned it into a mobile power source it's got an old monitor i don't know if you can read that monitor windmill on it Evansville, Wisconsin. And the power shaft would come down out the bottom. They put a tow hitch on the front. They could just pull this thing wherever they needed any kind of power and that windmill would just get hooked up to it, sit and power away. You can still see Gas Traction Company, Minneapolis, Minnesota on the front. They've got cast steel on each side on this heavy I-beam front axle. Look at some of the old scroll work in here. It's still visible. Look at that. Something very interesting I noticed. That's a bullet hole. And that's a bullet hole. They both feed through to the back. So you can tell they came in from the front. Boom, boom. And look at this. The back wheel. That was more like bulletproof. Look at that impact crater right there. Another one right there. I'm sure that was probably fired from the same rifle. They couldn't penetrate that. That's about one inch thick steel right there. Just imagine what it took to roll that. I mean, just that four inch C-channel that I had rolled to make that D2 front bumper this summer. That was nothing compared to rolling those huge pieces of one inch steel bands. It's, yeah, it's something that's really neat, really interesting. It's like we have a 881X. I thought it was upside down, but no, that's an 881X number on there. Again, spokes come into that big hub, double nutted get the tension right and then hold it. We're just peened over on this side. It says Cambria on that steel channel that the frame is made of. This thing is just so cool. We talk so much about this renewable energy stuff and we think it's such a modern idea. This is where it started right here. Can you imagine climbing this thing? These were your rungs, okay? That's all you had. So cool, and it still spins. Thanks for watching, everybody.